Now this is probably gonna be my first real political video. All the others could be argued as civics combined with socioeconomics. If not, just those funny freak out videos I do about anarchism, which is civic. But aside from that, let's focus on the main point, main platform. And that's the state. Now, a lot of people say that we live in a crossroads world, a world that's in between a utopia and a dystopia. A lot of people say that we live in a dystopia. But in actuality, we do live in that same fantasy structure, that same utopia. Look at the state. We wanted a democracy. Well, we have a democracy. People just don't realize it because they expected democracy to be some sort of fabulous thing. But democracies actually suck. And it's not because we keep going for their shitty presidents. No, it's nothing because of the shitty presidents. It's because of the calculation problem, the fiscal socialism of democracy. People want the Constitution. They think that the world's re extremely constitutional. But the Constitution advocates for a lot of federal power. A lot of this unified garbage. Yeah, garbage. And with all these constitutional amendments, states are becoming less and less different, less and less likely to secede from each other, more and more forced to be integrated, and the national government is becoming more and more powerful. The world is becoming more cosmopolitan. And, yeah, Diogenes would probably be mad at me for saying that. But it's the truth. And what else? What else? So you can argue that all states are utopian. And that this fantasy structure just needs a lot of eggs to be cracked to occur. And we've envisioned this as being a good thing, but it's actually a horrid thing. And I feel like for all anti-statists, and this goes back to my neo-pacifism, my incomplete book, they all had that fantasy structure that they had to talk people out of. Because it's that very same fantasy structure that ruined societies back then, back when church and state were the same thing. Now that it's split, so is the fantasy structure's format. It still exists, but now it's a realist fantasy structure. That means that they advocate these values that they feel it's not the one that's congenial, but the one that we're better off going for. That sure democracy sucks, but it's the lesser of two evils. Well, what's the other evil? Getting rid of democracy. Well, how does that make sense? How is it that you can only go and choose the lesser of the discongenialities at the expense of taking the risk? And what are your primitivists, one of those anarchists or right libertarians, you're always trying to use, find some means, some strategy, some plan, some way to get people out of that fantasy structure system, more into polycentricism. A polycentric law which Fringe Elements talks about a lot, which a lot of people talk about, is the better means. Because it takes out that fantasy structure and focuses on more stable structure. Without that Vatican, without that political Vatican, without that one center that once it collapses, all hell breaks loose. And that center 
takes a lot of inefficient energy, that central beam which we have to put a lot of force behind that slows everything down. See, that's the variable that us and a status have to uh, keep talking about. So you might think, oh, blah, 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 politics, politics, politics. Yeah, fuck these collective decisions. It's all about that philosophy, man. It's all about that religion. Well, they're the same thing. Only difference now is that religion is half of what I believe the state was once, and the state was once what religious cults are now. I can tell you this because if there's anyone who knows anything about religious cults, it's me. But this is a tangent. What's the main point of this video? It's that a lot of people here think that it's the ideal state or the realistic state that we should focus on or a small weak state no it's the lack of the state it's the end of any fantasy structure whether realistic or someone's little wet dream I could try to get into rhetorics I could try to empower you but that's not what I'm trying to do why because I'm not trying to call anyone emotional here. I'm not trying to call anyone anything. I'm trying to call anyone an idiot or a blind sheep just because, well, essentially 1% of the world or 99% of the world sucks. That's not what I'm going to do. It's just not worth it. And I'm Mr. Rocket Seven and suck my